Hello, everyone. Welcome to Little Arrow Soaps. Um, our an unusual Saturday stream for us, but today we are participating in the Spring Merry Making Raid Train event with the Makers and Crafters Society. So everyone who came in from the previous Maker uh, Super or Supreme, uh, thank you guys so much for coming in. Um, one of our goals in this uh, event today is that we're hoping to reach 250 followers. So if you'd like to give us a follow, we're very close to our event. Um, if we hit the 250 followers during today's uh, stream, we will be giving away one of our Soap Millennium Falcons. So welcome in. Thank you guys so much. So today we're working on two soaps and then we have one soap to cut. So we're going to start off making some ice frosting for our soaps. I always make the frosting at the end and then it takes forever to set up. So I'm just going to avoid that and make it first today so that it's ready to go when we are. So just our basic oils here and we have our lye because these are going to be from for two different soaps. Um, I'm not going to color it or scent it yet. I will do that later but I want it to start thickening up so that we can actually use it today. Let's go. Get this all mixed up to saponify. Thank you so much, Supreme, for the raid. Thank you for everyone coming in. Getting started with some soap frosting here. Got some eaters already. Of course. Gotta eat the soap, you know? Please don't eat the soap. <laughs> All right. Nice emulsified soap. Doing what we want it to do. So we are going to set this to the side safely and let that start to firm up so that it's ready by the time I want to use it. Let's set up the colors for our first soap. Our first soap is gonna have lots of colors, but most of them are just gonna be used on the top, so we're gonna mix everything now because neons like to be mixed up for a while. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, that should do us. All right. So first of all, we're going to do our pink and we're going to do a lot of pink. So that's going to be our main color for the soap today. Then we'll go with some orange. Don't need a lot of orange but a little more than some of the others because it is going inside. And some yellow. side cup here. Seventeen away. Yes. We're so close, guys. Blue. Do I need more blue than that? Mm, a little more blue. Purple. Is that one of the ones I need extra of? I think it is. Ah. Color. 
Yes, I need extra purple. Looking at my star here. Make it more purple. More purple. Then we've got some teal, which we're going to mix with our green to hopefully get a better teal. <laughs> Not that I don't like this teal, but it's not quite the shade I'm looking for. All right. We've got all of those together. We're gonna go ahead and start mixing up these colors. Hello, Cajun. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Oil, oil. And oil. All right. And then I got my little mixer, which I haven't used in a while because it was annoying me. But we're going to try it again and see if I've learned from my previous mistakes. are a little thick for it but also oof, my batteries are probably a little low but it's doing a good job breaking up the neons and that's always a struggle so I'll take it little yellow aside for a second. Actually, I'm going to go rinse them off and grab some pouring hot. Nice and clean. All right. Let's go ahead and mix up our soap. We're gonna go in with our lye water solution, real gentle here. Get these lye pots out of our way. And since this was just clear, we'll just use it right on again. Right. Mixing so got some air bubbles. Don't want air bubbles, we want a nice smooth consistent soap. So I need three 
colors, but I don't need much of each. So it's really a small pour here. And then of course my main. So let's go with our main here. Our main is gonna be our neon pink. But I do wanna mute it down a tiny bit. So I have some titanium dioxide here. I'm just gonna start with just a few drops because I don't want it to really influence the whole color, but just enough to kind of dull down the neon a tiny bit. A little bit more titanium. drops. Come on. There we go. So the soap that we're going for is, today is inspired by Mabel Pines from uh, Gravity Falls, so we're gonna do the inside is gonna look like the front of her sweater, and then the top we're actually gonna pipe cap uh, cable knitting and a knit pattern on top of. All right, that one's good there. Set this aside. And one of them is going to be purple. Put some purple in there. One's teal. We'll put our teal mix in there. And one is orange. So we'll put a little bit of our orange in there. That's awesome. Love Mabel. I love Mabel too. She is the best. And then I want to mute all of these a little, so a few drops of titanium dioxide. Then we're going to go from darkest to lightest. So I'm going to go rinse this real quick before I do the orange. titanium in here. Slightly more mute orange. That should do it. All right, let's go ahead and pour down our base bar. So I have my mold here and have a special embed because it's not visible without her star. This should be nice and firm now. Move these guys out of the way a little bit. We'll come back to them in a minute. There we go. The star gave me some trouble today, but it is complete. So 
just clean up the edges of the star. trim it to fit. All right, that's all ready to go. Let's, oh, fragrance, of course. Because I blended this fragrance on myself. All right, so this fragrance oil is a mix of sweet tarts, lemon, watermelon, and green apple. And it smells so good. Mm. Tiny splash more. There we go. Nothing important, Phil. So don't worry. Were you gonna make a soap without fragrance? It wouldn't be the first time I've accidentally done that, but I don't wanna do that because this fragrance is so good. It smells like candy. Okay, stir our fragrance oil in here. gonna do about half. A little more on one side versus the other. And then you sell your soaps, yes? Yes, of course we do. Um, we have a store, um, littlearrowsoaps.com. Uh, Zulu can link it. When we make a soap, it takes about six weeks for it to be uh, sellable. So what we're making today is gonna be released for our convention circuit, which is gonna be in May. I looked at it and then I instantly forgot what, what order the stripes go in. Okay, orange is first. So, we're gonna mix up our orange. Make sure that fragrance oil went in nicely. And then we're going to gently put this along the side here. Next soap, bring in the teal, this is T1. 
teal and then purple, right? Teal and then purple. A little pink to support the far side so it doesn't collapse with any extra weight. And a little tap tap. Nope, we're not going to fall flat. That's okay. Kind of directing this where I want it to go. I do want full coverage of that orange layer. Building up that far side. So we can ship internationally. You just have to contact us directly because the way our shipping is set up is not set up for international, but we can do it on an order by order basis. Um, but I'll warn you, international shipping is expensive because soap is heavy. All right, a little bit more pink to keep the flow. Just kind of paint this over. I still need to do the purple or the, yeah, the purple layer, but I need this built up enough that the purple is not going to dominate the pink because it's just supposed to be a stripe, not the whole thing. So building it up slowly so it doesn't slide and collapse on me. Okay, that should do it. Okay. Sliding along, filling in the soap. All right, I think that will do it for me on that color. So let's very gently finish up with the pink and seal all of that in.
make sure it all goes in there, and then I'll squish it into place where I want it. Bounce to flatten out and spread it. And now we have a completely unassuming pink bar of soap. Give it a little tap to level it out. <coughs> and I am going to pull out our falcon. Oh, we have a full falcon. We do. That's fine. And we mold it. That's okay. We'll demold it real quickly right now and start a new one. So, this is our falcon. This is what we put all of our extra soap scraps into. And we finished one on Monday and I forgot to demold it. So I'm going to do it now. Oh, and it's coming out nicely. Calm on one side, got some bursts of color, but not too bad. All right, we're gonna set this guy aside to start curing. And we're gonna take our mold here and put in the last of these colors because I specifically mixed up a batch to use for frosting and I like my frosting to not have fragrance oil in it so we're gonna just use that because frosting behaves differently when you have fragrance oil in it versus when you don't and I want it to behave today bit. Oh, this really does smell like sweet tarts candy. I am very excited. Sour is a hard scent to do in soap because if it smells too sour, it smells rotten. But if it doesn't smell sour enough, you're like, oh, it's just fruit. It's like, no, it's sour candy, I promise. Because I promise it is. All right. The start of a new falcon. Loving it. Well, then come in here and smell it. But we're going to need to find a new home for these falcons because they're taking up my counter. <laughs> All right. Before we get too far, this is setting up nicely. So let's mess with it. Okay, as much fun as we have hearing this statement, I actually can smell it from here. You can! <laughs> oh, look at that. Rusting. Oh, that's a good one. Mm hmm. The lemon and the green apple really rounded it out nicely. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, while this does that, I am gonna pour off frosting into all of my little cups. Except for this one, because this one, eh, no, I'll do that one too. That one's fine. But I want to, again, mute them all. So we're going to do a little bit of titanium in each one. Why well, use the neons if I'm going to mute them? Because they're better colors. Neons just work so well. Okay. Nope, I need paper towels still. Okay. Let's see what we got. Two at bowls ought to do it. Pink, yellow, orange, what do I actually pick? Um, green, I 
two. strong enough to mix these but we're going to try it anyway and if not we will go back to the good old-fashioned hand method it's doing something but it's it's really not doing much but it is dispersing the titanium a little bit That's not worth the effort right now. We'll bring out our skinny spatula. Beautiful. And clean them. Orange. because this green's intense and can always use a little muting. And surprisingly, yellow mutes green very nicely. There we go. Green. Blue. Had to do it, it's Mabel. Of course. Of course, indeed. Blue. Teal. They look delicious. No eating the soap. Teal. And last but not least, purple. Ship, I'm not your mom, but if you do eat it, uh, have fun on the toilet for the next few days, and don't say we didn't warn you, I suppose. All right, is this what I want to do yet? Do I want to do this right now, or... It's more like destroy all of the bacteria, healthy bacteria in your gut kind of soap. <laughs> all right, I'm going to rinse this guy off before he gets any firmer, and then we will get started on our next soap real quick. While well, he is just solidified just a tiny bit more. And we'll give that one a chance. You know, these are setting up pretty quick. I don't think I need to do that. I think we're going to just dump, jump straight into piping this one. Alright. So. For this, I need about 
small but big enough that I can do a couple things with it because I can't find any of my couplers anywhere and I was at the store I'm like I should buy more couplers nah I have some at home that was a lie I do not have them at home my stupid brain's like yes you do but it was wrong all right We have our tall cup and our very squeaky piping bag. Now we're going to go ahead and pop our tip down at the bottom and we're going to drop in our bag. Oh, it's going to get really interesting in a minute here. We're going to do half of the pink. Half of the orange. Yellow. off the rest of it. Best way to get it out of these tiny cups is to just crush the cup. So I have like just enough to do what I'm planning on doing. I really hope that I commit and stay true because if I don't, I'm screwed and I don't have a redo availability. Hi, what you doing? Why are we doing this? Uh, traveling to ask for some completed soaps. Okay. When I have a chance. Yeah. Blue. So in theory, by doing this, these should all kind of like tie dye together. And so as I pipe it to look like knitting, it should look like a variegated yarn. In theory. We will see how practice plays out because that's not always the case. <laughs> always the chance it'll just all smear together and make an ugly block. But these are the risks that we take in art. Patrick Cat, welcome in. Nice to see ya. You and your stabby stabbies. Okay. So, bring this in. Super cool. Love it. I will. Give me just a second. I gotta snip, snip off the tip. And 
there is our rainbow bag. Okay. So the first bit should all be pink. So we're going to do a bead. Down the set, slight off center. Still mostly pink, so we're going to do one more over here. It is okay to be mesmerized. It is enthralling. Okay. I'm going to give this a little mica dust. Because I don't want all of it to be dusted, but I want some. Because it's Mabel. There has to be glitter. Sorry for the silence, but this takes a lot of concentration. Starting to get some color variation here. And a hand cramp. Yay!
And of course I made the cardinal mistake of going the wrong direction, so now I'm going to turn it so I'm not going over my own work, even though I will be. Is that what I want to do? That'll make it more fine. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Looking like a leaf, maybe. Do you have any soap charms to put on top? No, not for this one. This one's gonna be pretty basic. It's mostly showcasing the piping work, but our next one will. Nope, I've lost my flow. There we go. But the knitting looks so good on camera. Oh yes, quite pleased. Move it on up. That is the perfect emoji for that. All right. One more row and then I may go over top with a cable knit. Maybe do another layer of knitting. Because the colors are really swirling now and it looks really cool.
before I did soap and before I did medicine or orthopedics, I did uh, I did cake decorating and especially around the holiday season, I'd always do a bunch of cookies. And one time I did a 20 hour shift for a catering company doing cookies the whole time. And my hand cramped up so bad that the owner's wife ran out and got me Bengay and a little wrist brace. It was very nice of them, but there were so many cookies. All right, I'm gonna lift this up so you guys can see it a little closer. I'm probably gonna go and do another bar on top, but look at that. It's looking so good. Just the variation as it's moved through the rainbow soap. I am very happy. All right. Another little layer of glitter because, again, this is a Mabel inspired soap. We need to be covered in glitter. But enough that we can actually see what I've done. Two more bars, and I think that'll do it for me. Oh. I like that you can see all the glitter fly at the cam. There is no, abun no shortage of glitter in this house. Everything that can be covered in glitter is. How's that looking? I think one more bar to cover up this pink and then we should be good. Let me show it off here now. Ah, oh, it's looking so nice. Like a nice loose knit sweater. Just like I planned. I love it when it works how I wanted it to. Yes, Eldana, I did love the earrings. They were really comfortable, really light, even for my sensitive ears. Thank you so much, they're so cute. Some pink and purple coming through now. All right. 
right. But I try to make them look heavy but feel mega light. Yeah, they definitely feel light. There we go. I think that's going to be a nice... I don't want to do any more because I'm afraid of covering up any of the, the early bits. But I really like the color sections and gradient. It's very much done a cool job. Very, very happy. Oh, I was a little worried about this one, but I'm really happy with it now. So this will be my entry for the Soap Challenge Club. Um, and I think it, the piping turned out amazing. I'm very happy. No more glitter, because the glitter will start to cover up the details. At the very least, they highlight them a little bit. And then I have all of this, and I'm wondering, should we do, put it in the falcon? Yeah, it's going to go in the falcon. That's the best thing to do. All right. Let's bring over the falcon and make the craziest rainbow falcon that we have ever made. And I will be doing this layering uh, piping technique. Definitely, definitely more. Oh, let's just go wild and crazy all over it. Beautiful. And we'll tap that down. And then as we get more extra, we'll pour it on top. But this should be one of the more interesting falcons that we've done. All of those colors and such thin veins is going to look really cool. All right. My next soap is cold, so I'm going to go heat up the oil real quick as we clean this all up. All right, I'm going to move this out to a safe and happy place. Explain the falcon, please. So the falcon is a soap mold or a mold that I was given years ago from a friend. And it is a regular silicone mold, mold. But when we're making soap, oftentimes, especially for putting in add-ins or piping or other th stuff like that, we'll make a little extra from what we need or have a little left over so that we can uh, make sure our mold is completely full. But we don't want to waste that extra, so we uh, pour it into our falcon mold and basically make a giant soap with everything that's left. You have to explain that again. Ad is running now. Oh, well, tell me when. Agitating this so it doesn't get too hard, but it's perfect. And now we can proceed with our next soap. Tell me when we're back. Slash when I'm back. Fragrance oil. Actual oil. I think we're back now. All right. So, let me grab my flowers. So, the Falcon is all of our extra pour off soap. So everything that doesn't go into the made loaves and 
we don't want to waste it so we put it into the falcon and build it up over many batches and kind of create a mixture of everything to create the falcon which then we demold cure and give away which we are currently doing a giveaway at 250 followers which we are very close to and so what if we hit those 250 today we'll pull out some of our falcons and start our giveaway so we've got lots of options and uh yeah all right lime water is in the oils mixer is clean and ready to be mixed let's get this one going do you have a pick that we can look at oh yeah the jewel the jewel painting or the diamond painting i love the diamond painting it looks so relaxing six more followers well thank you travel the world so we're gonna get this mixed up this is our next one Welcome in. It's good to have y'all. Definitely appreciate the follows today. We are so close to our follower goal. And when we hit our follower goal, we will be giving away one of our soap Millennium Falcons. Our soap Falcons are a little over a pound of soap. And it last you about six to nine months if you decided to use it, or you can just display it. It is your choice. Once it's yours, it's yours. We aren't gonna tell you what to do with it. All right, this is mixed up. Let's make some colors. So we're gonna do four colors, but one of them is just gonna be an accent. All right. I'm gonna do Astro Green. Decent amount. Enchanted Forest Green. And my favorite green our favorite green here on the channel because it has the best name ever, the Maniacal Pea. Yes, the Maniacal Pea. It's the best green. It's so cute and the best name. Oil, oil, oil. And then we're going to do a shot of red. Because this soap is our poison ivy soap. And Miss Pamela Isley is very known for her very red features. Get that red mixed in there. That spoon's done for. Wait for today. Then mix up our greens. Just want to hydrate them. Don't really want to, don't need to worry about them being smooth. These are all green, so we can use the same spatula. Alright, 
lift this out of here. Green, green, before I forget about it, red, whoop, and more green. And then I want the most maniacal pea because it's my favorite. And I don't need this bowl anymore because everything's divided up. Okay. So because I heated my oils, it's a little warm. So it's trying to like fake me out and say it's set up, but it's not because it's just warm. I know better every time I touch it, it gets liquidy again. All right. Green. In turn out with all efficient dog accounts. Oh yeah. <laughs> Forbidden custard, that's right, ship. This one here will turn more green as it sets because it kind of looks grayish when it starts, but that's called a paranormal color morph and is very common in uh, greens. I don't know why they do that, but they do. And it's a common phenomenon. And then this is a very blue green. We gotta get all the different levels of the deep. All right. And then, oh, where is it? This will work. Gotta mix up our little red cuppy here. So much mixing. Mixy, mixy, mixy. I'm so close to doing the redeem. What redeem? Oh, the, the Grim redeem, the new one? It's brand new, I love it. All right, let me get this here. We'll look at those in a minute. Okay, so I have my greens. And I have my red. My red's gonna be the last one, but it's gonna stay there for now. Um, I'm gonna try and get Grim a bully stick. Oh, Grim loves the bully sticks. Loves them, loves them, loves them. We're gonna start with some green. And then we're gonna add in some green. And then we're gonna top it with more green. Ah, uh, yes, everyone is doing exactly what I hoped they would do. <laughs> then we're gonna finish out this green. Nice high and then low so we can get some good layering. Mm. So we're fragrancing this with the uh, Desert Lily Mariposa. So Desert Lily Butterflies, I believe. And it's a really nice, fresh, kind of almost watery floral. Not quite so much as our cactus blossom. It's a little sweeter, but it's really good.
lighten this up a little. Give us some different shade and a little texture in there. Perfect. Make sure my edges are back. I'm trying to do a pretty top soap. Can't have squished edges. Lovely. A little bit of green left over for the falcon. I'm gonna get rid of these containers. Um, get rid of these. I'm gonna keep these. And now we're gonna come in with our red and do a deep drop, as deep as it'll let us. It's not gonna let us go very deep. That's okay. Let's hanger swirl it to get it deeper. Now that I actually have a tool that'll let me do this whenever I want. There, that'll do it. And then we'll clean that up in a second. Let it firm up a little bit. about all new piping tips, because all my old ones were cake ones, and most of them are dented or cracked or other issues, but that's okay. So, I need some colors. I also need that flat. Okay, that'll work. So we have frosting here. We definitely have more than enough. My assumption that a quarter would not be enough was incorrect, as usual, but I'd rather have more than less. So we're gonna divide out some into there and we're gonna keep some here. And we're going to make green. Some of that. A lot of this. Just mix this in. May need a little more over here. Yep, definitely gonna need some more on the Enchanted Forest. Grim has been summoned. Oh, 
it's a little high. Did you raise your desk? Elevators going down. This is the Grim. He is a good boy. He loves toys. He loves play. As all good boys should. <laughs> it's not a very tree green. Do I need more? I need more. And to brighten it up further, we're going to add just a little bit of our neon green. Frankly, to both of them. That is the Grim. He is our good boy. Uh, he is our Borky Borky boy. Hi, Grim, I hear you. Okay, yes, the neon green has done it. This is much more of what I was wanting. That should work here too. So, oh, all of the crunching. Gotta love the mod. My, my mod all the time. All right. So, I have some flowers to place, so I'm gonna place those first, and then we're gonna kinda pipe with and around them. Place some of my bigger ones first. All the better looking ones, of course. Do it, don't want it anymore. That one didn't turn out. That one's okay. Okay, we've got our flowers in place. Now let's make our piping bag. Apologies again for the world's squeakiest bags. just want one. Which bag? Which one am I going to use? No, I don't want one bag. I want two, but I want one leaf and one regular. There's a leaf. Or do I want that leaf? No, I want the little leaf. Give me my tiny leaf. Give me my tiny leaf. Oh, and a tiny star. Those will work perfectly. Okay. 
tool bags, one bag, tall cup, alright, uh, we'll start with the leaf, just put it on my fingertip here, and then I dive into the bag. And these are nice and thick, so I don't have to worry about drippage. So I'm just going to slice that. Now, put it in the bag, or put it in the cup. And do a nice smear of color on one side. And then same on the other side. And tap, 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 tap. Beautiful bifurcated leafy leafless. And there's our two-tone bag. Looks like shadow, but that's kind of the point. Where'd I put the other bag? There's the other bag. Aha! Bag! Come on. And I put the other tip here. Again, with the trimming of the top of the bag. Oop, that might have been trimmed too much, but we'll deal with that as we go. Okay. We get all of our green here. Oh, we've got the Borkins. The Borkins are happening. Now, we're gonna start off with some leaves because every flower has leaves. There's some intense bork in today.
So I do want to create some height here and there. Rotate it. Yeah, I'm really happy with how this one turns out. I could honestly, you could honestly submit either of these to the Soap Challenge Club. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Grim is the best at delivery, people. Absolutely the best. Grim will let you know if someone is walking their dog a block away or if the delivery man is coming. But it's really funny. If someone's actually like coming up to the house, he will come and find us and be like, no, there's actually somebody here this time. And it's really cute. <laughs> My hesitancy on submitting this soap is that everyone in the competition is going to do flowers because the teacher did flowers. Um, what kind of Grim dog is Grim? So Grim is a rescue. We've had him DNA tested, but we kind of disagree with that, and so do most of our vets. Um, they, uh, yeah, he's a German Shepherd, Irish Wolfhound. His DNA says he's only like 6% hound, uh, but he's definitely a Wolfhound. This soap is going to be so delicate, but it's going to be so pretty. Do you have a picture of the cake, the photo of the cake that was a lie? Yes, the cake was a lie and it was worth every moment. <laughs> A Shih Tzu Poodle. Oh, you have a Shih Tzu. <laughs> They're so cute. Their name is so unfortunate. I, I've seen some people trying to like rebrand the breed because you know it's it's kind of rough, <laughs> rough, I guess. But my my grandpa had uh, Shih Tzus. They were very cute. They were very needy little buggers, though. I occasionally will do piped soaps, but they just take so much time. Oh my god, you call him a little poo all the time, that's cute. I, uh, I was looking at some local farmer's markets and there was someone who set up their, uh, 
their stand and they have signs, like cute family signs and stuff. And they had these three signs and, or four signs, and two of them had a big P on it. And I think it said like pantry or something, but they had them on in front of the table with two round signs that I did not see what they said. But as I was scrolling through, all I could just say was, if you walk past this booth, all it did was say poop. And I don't think that's what they were trying to go for. But now all I can think of is that they are the, uh, the poop stand and they sell poop signs. Even though their signs were pretty, I, I can't get over the poop because I am actually just uh, a nine-year-old boy who thinks poop jokes are hilarious. Right, we've got cover and fill. Let's build up some leaves. Height, but that's okay. This, this channel makes me hungry and I cannot eat them. No, no, you cannot eat them. Unfortunately, we have lots of fun making things, but they are not food things. It would be nice if some of them could be food things, but we will do food streams occasionally. Mostly to mess with people. Honestly. <laughs> Don't tell me what I can or cannot eat. Like I said, not your mom. Go for it. Does the flower one have a scent added? Yes, so this one is scented with desert, desert lily mariposa, which is a sweet kind of uh, peppery floral. one so that will taste the same as its name oh i i am going to call it soap 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 but it is a cilantro lime soap and no one else is going to get it but i think it's hilarious <laughs> because i am one of those people who is so white that i can't taste cilantro well i can but it just tastes like soap Yeah, so when people ask, why is it called soap, soap, soap? Well, it's made of soap, it tastes like soap, and it smells like soap. Yay, soap, soap, soap. So many details. This is why I don't do piped soaps very often. Because to really make it look good, you gotta put a lot on there. And it takes a long time.
Do you use the soaps or do you just have bins full of soap? Um, so we use the soap and we also sell the soap. But we we definitely just have, I, like I have a five gallon bucket just full of soap scraps waiting to be used in things. And we have lots of soap. We were just actually cleaning out the soap room today and just found like a bin of old bath bombs. It's like, well, I guess we've got a bunch of bath bombs now. <laughs> but yeah, any of the miscuts, smaller bars, maybe ones that get dented at some point during the process, the less pretty ones, we'll keep those for ourselves. Who doesn't have a soap room? Soap room, dry room, I kind of use the words interchangeably, um, but it's a dry room in our house. We live in Texas, so it is humid all year round. And in order to dry things out, you can't have it in a humid environment, obviously. So we dry it out in the dry room where we have an industrial, uh, an industrial dehumidifier going all the time that keeps it at a pretty even 44% uh, percent humidity. Mine has a miscut and it's making a weird shape. There we go. Nope, still doing the weird shape, but that's okay, I can live with it. Zulu, we need a virtual tool of the soap room, even if it's pre-recorded. We may have to do that at some point. Let's finish reorganizing it. Try, we're trying to make stations for everything inside of the soap room. Um, like a station for packing and packaging and all of that. But uh, yeah, we'll do it as soon as it's cleaned up and figured out. More leaves. leaf over here. All right. All right. We're down to the final third. Got my sectioning. Now let's do some little ends. No, working. Uh, 
I'm liking that so far. Whew. Okay. Build up some leafage here and here. The one thing I am very glad about in this competition is that the gal who is teaching the class, who owns Cheeky Goat Soapery, uh, she can't compete because usually she competes and she's really good. And if she's teaching the class, she can't compete. And maybe someone else has a chance. <laughs> At a pipe soap because it's like her specialty, which of course is why she's teaching the class. to stand up. There we go. Now just for some space fillers, because we're just about there. sure every bit of this is covered something tall over here. Let's do another leaf line. Yes, we have got one loaf of soap to cut after this, and then we're done. Little height. Little height. All right. And for this one, I'm just going to use a little bit of gold dust. Again, a little bit of glitter can really make the highlights and lowlights pop off a little bit more. So just a little bit. Just a hint of this guy. All right, that should do it. Let me bring it up closer so you guys can see the really fine details. So, this is my poison ivy soap. And it turned out fantastic. It is so detailed, the little tiny, uh, 
the little tiny uh, piping tips really gave us a, t a little tight pattern here. It looks really good. The glitter is on everything, Sunset. Everything. I'm pretty sure, as we have discussed on this channel before, when they cut me open for my autopsy when I die, they will find glitter in my body. I will be like a piñata that opens up and goes poof, glitter everywhere! All right, because I made extra frosting, we obviously have extra, so we're gonna fill up the falcon, which we may, we're gonna be close to being done with this falcon today. Oof, tiny little piping tip. Time to cut it open. One, and I'll split this one up two. Ah, come on. close. I think maybe one more, one or two more recipes and we will be done with this one and we'll have a really colorful one. All right guys, we switch out my gloves here. We're gonna move the ivy soap out of the way, put them over with Mabel. Oh, they both look so good. I don't know which one to submit. I could submit both. Put one of them in the bonus category. But I don't know. We'll see in the cut, I guess. Okay. Clear up my workspace a little bit and we're gonna cut our Catwoman soap. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. But I'll be nice to Zulu and wash it off. towels. The ivy soap is cute. Thank you. I appreciate it. I have done a few iterations of ivy's uh, poison ivy themed soap over the years, but I think, I think this might be the one. I finally have had the confidence to really go all out on the piping. Even though I know I'm good at piping, I used to do it all the time. It's just that that challenge always pushes you a little bit. All right, almost clean here. Just wiping up any excess soap batter because soap batter is dangerous for the first 24 hours. Okay. beautiful Catwoman soap encrusted in jewels and the side ended up looking less like peanut butter thank god <laughs> but we had a request earlier to look at some of our other finished soap because we probably have people in here today who aren't usually in our stream so let me grab my cutter and then we'll look at some of those because my 
flat pattern needs a little bit of a rub down. <laughs> oh, if you think they're going crazy for that one, I have one to show you in just a second. This is my soap cutter. He doesn't have a name. But that is okay, he does not need one. Cleany, 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 cleany. Scrubby, scrubby, scrubby. There we go. All right, he's clean and ready to go. But let's show off some stuff. So, one of our soaps from the, the soapy the, the soap cutter that works. We've got Sudsy the bubble. Why not soapy the cutter? So this is our Grim bar. So the Grim, the guardian of the backyard. This one is made another soap challenge club soap that we did, made with all natural colorants. So we used indigo for the blue, turmeric for the yellow, and the what I hoped would be green, but kind of turned out beige, is a mixture of the two. And that is, of course, our dog Grim, who you may have heard borking earlier. This one, this one smells like uh, Curve Cologne from the 90s. Then we have our Unicorn Tears, or Unicorn Blood. No, this is Unicorn Sweat. We have all, we have blood, sweat, and tears. This is blood. It's a neon rainbow with so much glitter on top that the camera doesn't even pick it up. I think I can get some of it in that angle. Blood was the bubble bath. Yes, that's right. Blood was the bubble bath. And it will be a sugar scrub once I get around to it. <laughs> then, because we don't just love the little girls out there, we have our dinosaur soap full of dino fossils and of course some glitter not as much but uh definitely some glitter and some dinos and all the fossils in there and those are all the way through the bar so they'll change a little bit as you use the bar and it has a bunch of different uh different stuff can you make troll soap full of dye so whoever gets dyed blue or something? No, we're not mean with our soap here. We want people to enjoy bathing. Then we have our mermaid soap, Fisherman's Tail. This one's also covered in glitter. And this one smells... Um, like sugared papaya, so a little Hawaiian, a little tropical. And then we have our spring storm, which I haven't quite named yet. And this is a thunderstorm over the city with lightning and oh, so much glitter. More shiny holographic glitter on this one. These ones will be dropping in our store on April 3rd. So not this upcoming Wednesday, but the Wednesday after. They are almost cured. I'd say they're 99% there. They just need to be packaged and labeled. All right. So we're going to cut the soap and see what we're working with because we are coming to a close with our time and actually really impressed that we got everything done in the amount of time that we were given because we've done a lot. So let's cut into this bad boy and hope all my gems don't pop off because they try to do that at the beginning every single time. Don't do that. All right. We've been capped, and now we are sliced. Ooh, I like it. A little digital, kind of, but nice and swirly inside. And we've got our beautiful gems and crystals on top. Love it. Okay. 
got the purples, the golds. The gold ended up a little light, but I'm not mad at it considering we were having some trouble with it because I used dirty dishes because I didn't clean it because I was in a rush and I didn't look for a clean one. But hey, it is what it is. All right. Just finishing up cutting the soap here. Let me real quick bring back what we did today. So we just finished our poison ivy soap. And of course we also finished our Mabel soap. So happy with how these turned out. So happy with everything today, really. It has gone smoothly which I was not expecting. So I'll take it. Indeed, I'll take it. Ooh. We got our crystals wanting to fall off here. Must keep them on. We can definitely vamp for a few minutes if you guys need some time. I can always ramble on. Eh, my gem doesn't want to cut. The top of this bar ended up being a little crumbly, but not in like a bad way. Oof, that's a wonky bar. That's okay. A little wonky on the cut there, but that's my fault. Tighten my screw, because that's usually the culprit. We're five away! Five followers away from giving away a falcon, everyone. Call your friends. Call your mom. Call my mom. My mom probably jet-lagged. <laughs> Why is the top so crumbly? Should all even out as it cures though. But the top turned out perfect. I am the happiest with this of any of the Catwoman iterations that I've done over the last couple of years. It really is the most Selena Kyle, I think. I tried to go too on the nose with a cat last year. And before that, I don't even remember. I, I, I tried to do a insert of an insert of uh, gems and crystals and stuff, and I didn't use the melt and pour I usually use. I used a different one because it was more convenient, and there's a reason I use the one I use, and I'm like, I'll never make that choice again because it sweat so much, the soap was sticky for like two months. It was not ideal. Eh. Don't fall off. Stay. These gems are trying to fight me. Come on, there we go. All right, we have cut the whole bar. They have survived. Beautiful top, wonderful inside, very happy with the coloring swirl. And so happy with how our piped soaps turned out. They are absolutely gorgeous. I thought about piping my own flowers, but it's too much work, too much work in advance. But I am so happy with these. Thank you guys all for joining us today. This has been an awful lot of fun. And um, if you're interested in seeing us cut these soaps, we will be cutting these 
on Monday. We'll probably cut them right at the beginning of our stream so that we can go into soap making for the rest of the time. So we'll cut both of these because I do need to submit the photographs of them on Monday. So there's no other option. And uh, we'll see how things go from there. Um, and you guys can help me decide which one we actually submit. And maybe convince Zulu to make me a reel to post with it, which would be nice. But I am so happy how this Mabel one turned out. The intricacies of the color. I just, the fine lines, I'm going to have to do that dropping technique into the bag again. It was mostly to save me time, but look at it. It's so pretty. And it's so sparkly. Ah, it smells so good. So these will be available as part of our uh, convention collection, which goes live with our first convention, Comic Palooza, um, which is Memorial Day weekend. Um, unfortunately, they will not be available before then because these are made with the intention of going to the convention. So that's when they will go up and they will be available until they aren't. And then every year, uh, we kind of bring back the same stuff, but we do different things and kind of change up designs. Some of them will be the same, some of them will be different. Uh, this week, we will probably be doing a double soap stream because we have a few soaps left we need to make and we need to finish them up in the next two to three weeks. And then we will heavily lean on bath bombs until convention starts, which is gonna suck. But hey, that's okay. It's part of it. Some of them are super fun, but doing it with all of you guys always makes it easier to do the big pushes and it will be a lot of fun. So, positively stitched. Thank you for coming on in. We really appreciate it. We're kind of winding up, but we just, cut some soap. We cut our Catwoman inspired soap encrusted with jewels. And then we made our poison ivy inspired soap, which is very intricately hand piped. Show this off a little bit. So sparkly and intricate. I'm very pleased with this. And then we made a soap based off of Mabel Pines from Gravity Falls and we knit her a sweater and it looks so good and so sparkly. Oh my god, we did it! Guys, we just hit 250 followers. That means it's time to give away a falcon. Do we have time, Zulu? All right, we're gonna ask because we are part of the uh, spring merrymaking uh, raid train event. So we want to make sure that we can do this right now. If not, we will do it first thing on Monday and we'll figure out what we're gonna do. Um, let's make sure we have time. Ideally, we should be able to do it today. Let me put away my soap cutter here real quick and we should have an, hopefully have an answer and then we can do that real quick and get things moving. All right. How are we doing? What do we want? A blue hanger swirl soap with absolutely nothing special about it and smells like strawberry banana smoothie. Oh, it would be pretty, but why strawberry banana? I have a thing against uh, soaps that smell differently than they look, but that's okay. That's what the soap boozled is for. It's to slowly drive me insane, slowly, deliberately, effectively, very effectively. One, two, We'll eventually add more to that redo. Yes. All right. Do we have confirmation on whether or not we can do this? 
Also, don't we have one more of these? Yeah. We're, we're good? Are these the only three we have? Uh, I think we have one more. Okay. I think so too. We have this one. We just demolded it, so if you want it, it'll take a month before we're going to send it to you. But it's an option. But let's see, we got all of our falcons here. They're all a little different. They're all kind of mixed smells. We can see kind of what the predominant smell of each one is. This one's predominantly leather. I'm going to open this ah. away and we'll let Troy and I'll try to fight it. Okay, thank you so much. So the black one's leather. You're muted. I can't hear from some reason, but I'm so excited. Why am I muted? I don't think I'm muted. Can everyone hear me? Do, 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 do. Maybe. Ah, this one smells good. I can hear you just fine. Okay. What is that scent? Oh, that's just soap base. Soap base and cologne. This one smells like uh, cherry coke and um, poison crocus flowers and a little bit of cologne and a little bit of cornbread. That one's a big mix. Ooh. That smells like soda. And that smells like basic soap. So this one kind of smells like cream soda. Uh, what were we making at the time? Something sweet. What are those colors from? I don't remember. White, brown, green, gold. I don't know. I don't know. Well, these are our four. Um, you guys start entering. We're going to see. I think we have one more in our soap bin. So we're gonna pull it out and see. I think we have more like a purpley one. I should be sleeping. Never sleep. Just enjoy soap. All of the soap. All right. So each one of these is about a pound of soap. Some of them are a little more, uh, some of them are a little less. Uh, if you decided to use it, it'd last you about six to nine months. And we make these in an effort to reduce our waste. So they are all, uh, they are all uh, made from overpour and extra soap made, like the ones that we made today. Not going to lie, I want the one from today. Oh, I don't know when the one from today is going to be ready. It's got to be added to it next time. So keep bringing people on in. We'll definitely have more giveaways next time. Um but each one's always unique and different. We never quite know what they're gonna end up looking like. Ah, yes, I knew we had one more. Here's the last one. What's the back of that one? All right, so here's the back of it because it's awesome. And then here's the front and the side. This one's also very colorful. This one's a little bit of lemon, a little bit of sakura flower. So it just smells really clean and light, a little linen-y. So these are our five falcons. And guys, aside from this one, these five were all, these four were all made so far this year. Usually we make two or three of these a year. You guys are driving us to do more so we can make you more, so we can show you more. We're also doing a lot more conventions this year than we did last year. So last year we just did one. Next, this year we're doing six. How much to just buy one? So they are available for sale. If you want one, you have to contact us directly. They are $60 or $50 on their own, or we can make you a custom one, but those ones start at 50 and then adding different colors and sets goes up from there. But just to buy one of these big boys, it'd be 50 bucks plus of course shipping. And if you're in the U.S., that shipping would be free. 
So if you're interested, feel free to contact us directly. You can either contact us through our website or through uh, email, which is on our website. Um, and then we can arrange that. We kind of call them different things as we name them. I would probably call this one roses. I This one's just kind of multicolor. We call this one the red dot because it has the red dot. This one's most of our natural colorants, even though there's mostly unnatural colorants, but all the natural colorants on top are on top. And this one's just a tie-dye. So we'll call it tie-dye camo, because it's kind of camo-y. Red dot flowers and I don't know, rainbow, pink? Name this one for me, everyone. What shall we name him? Chaos? Because it's chaos on the bottom. <laughs> Went to grab food, almost missed it. Tanner, you gotta stay. We've made the goal. We're giving away a falcon. As they say in The Witcher, magic is being able to control chaos, and we are magical here. At least that's what we pretend, because otherwise you just sit in the corner in sweater town crying. Yes, indeed. So many falcons. They look so good. We often get asked if we make smaller ones. We do not. I was gifted this mold. It's the only one I have. And I love it. And it works perfectly. Look at all the dancing emotes. Love them. Love them so much. Let's see who's gonna win. What we got? Where are we going? Who's gonna get a falcon? Ooh, look at all the names. It's always so exciting. Where are we going to land? Silver! Silver, you won! Congratulations, Silver! Now you get the fun part. You get to pick which falcon you want. And we will pull it aside for you and then uh, We'll contact you and get everything all worked out. Silver, which which falcon do you want? We got one, two, three, four, five. If we weren't paying attention, one, two, three, four, five. I'm leaning towards the controlled chaos one actually. Because it's a statement of my personality. <laughs> I love this one. And I really think the edges are something special because the edges are all different. And this is a good choice. And this, is, this one's fully cured and ready to go. Love it. Well, this little guy's been going on road shows with us, so he will be coming home with you and... It'll be so much fun. Like I said, you can use it if you want. If not, you can just set it up for display and uh, it'll be happy in your home wherever you want it. Uh, Zulu will contact you, which you said you just placed an order. Oh, well that's convenient if you did. Perfect, we'll go ahead and tag it on. That makes life easy for everyone. <laughs> Thank you. And thank you for ordering from our shop. We really appreciate it. All right. I know we've gone a little over with our time slot for the raid event. Um, was interested in buying Red Dot. I sent a message through our website. Wonderful. We'll get back to you shortly and uh, talk details on the Red Dot because he has been needing a home for a while. A few people have looked at him, but he hasn't gone home with anybody yet. Uh, we've sold a few of these, given away a couple as well, but yeah. 
I love the smell of leather. Oh, it's so good. It's a mixture of rawhide leather and suede with a little bit of hickory smoke. So I think you'll like that one too. It's really nice. But yeah. All right. Thank you all for joining us today. Let's check in with the raid and see where we are and everything. And uh, other than that, it has been wonderful having you guys. Thank you for sitting here and being the moral support that I needed while typing everything. And uh, enjoy the rest of the raid train and everyone's amazing, amazing, uh, talented work and all the stuff that everybody's been doing. I'm glad Moko made led me here long ago. Oh, we're so glad to have you in our group. It was nice meeting you, uh, ship, and thank you everyone for joining us. Let's raid on out.